PNC Broadway series here in Louisville. It's kind of like the Tony Awards here in Louisville. It's the very best of Broadway, and I'm excited for two reasons. One, because they have a brand new season coming up, and number two, I have a little bit of a reunion here with an old friend. Leslie Broker is with me. Leslie is the president of the Broadway series here in Louisville. Leslie, welcome back to the show. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. We have fun together, don't we? We do have fun. <laughs> We've been having fun for a long time. We have. We, have. we won't say how long. <laughs> no, we're not. not but, but a long there. time. Uh, I'm excited about the new Broadway series, you know, especially after I talk to you, someone who has actually been to New York, seen these shows, uh, knows about the Tony Awards that they've garnered. Let's talk a little bit about this year's uh, season, and, and this is the big unveiling here, folks. It's a brand new That's announcement. Right. That's right. Well, our 14-15 our season will kick off in the fall with a wonderful play called I Love Lucy. I think it's a great walk down nostalgia road. It takes place in 1952, and you're actually a part of the studio audience, so it's, it's two episodes. The director tells you how it's going to roll. There are commercials, and it's, I think it's, it's nostalgia for folks who grew up with Lucy or reruns like we did. We're not old enough for the originals, but the, the Lucy reruns, and then um, to be able to bring a new generation in and see it. So that's our play of the season. We did one play in 14, or in 1314, and we'll do one in 1415. You know, that's an interesting concept. So you're like a member of the audience if it were if you were there to watch the TV show being. Exactly, exactly. And I mean, you'll recognize, you know, the commercials. I had some people come back. What's Brill Cream? You know, and things Ivory like that. And, and all so those. exactly. I mean, it, there's a Chevy commercial that the whole audience sings along with because they know it. And so. Lucy, you've got some splendid. Oh, do. and it's very, it's it's great. You've got the whole crew there, and it, it's two episodes people will recognize. So we really think it'll just be a nice, fun, light night in the theater. All right. So I love Lucy live on stage. Love that one. Okay. And then next, uh, next we will have Disney's Newsies, which is actually still on Broadway. It's a wonderful musical about newspaper boys at the turn of the century, and and these kids basically take on the New York Times and big newspaper and, and they want to raise. So, not too far from today's today's news, but it, it really is a lot of dancing. It's a huge, beautiful set. Absolutely incredible. All right, two down. Here we go. That's next two. up. The next one is Once. Once is the 20, let's see, 2012 Best Musical uh, winner on Broadway. It's, it's a stunning musical. The kind of unusual thing about it is it takes place in Dublin. It takes place in a bar. We'll actually have the bar open on stage at the Kentucky Center for the Arts. So people will actually get to come up uh, before the show and have a cocktail if they want to, or just check out the set and, and whatnot. But it's about a guy. Me, me. Yeah, well, we'll see you there. Um, it's about a guy who's a street musician, and he's about to give up and go back to vacuum cleaner repair uh, work that he does. But he meets a girl, and the girl kind of inspires him, and together they make, oh, just incredible music. And it really is a, is a stunning love story and a great piece. I love the sound of that. that, that I, I'll look forward to that. Okay, once, and then we have an old friend coming back. Uh, then we do have an old friend, and that would be the Lion King. Very popular friend. You know, it does make you feel kind of old, though, when you say the revival on the season is the return of the Lion King. But it's been about eight years since it's been here. One of our most uh, requested shows. Um, we Yes, we will be making an aisle in the Kentucky Center for the Arts. We're moving about 300 seats as we've done in the past. So wow. It'll be, it, you know, it's as, ma as magnificent as the first two times that it was. You know, that, that's one of those automatic slam dunks. You, you oh, no question. I, I believe it's here for four weeks, and so we'll sell every seat, and it's just one that people clamor for, and also great for our education program. We can get a lot of kids in. Okay, it's the 2000, 2015, 2014 and 15 season, and I think the grand finale is the final show here. Well, I will tell you that Pippin, Pippin is, is the show that will close out our season. It's an older show. It was done in the 70s. Uh, the same composer as who did Wicked and Godspell. This is a revival, though, like none other. Um, it includes not only only Bob Fosse dancing with this beautiful show, but also the chorus is all Cirque du Soleil-esque. So you've got a, a song or a ballad going on, and then you've got acrobats and, and, and lifters and tumblers and jugglers going on in the back. And I've been to New York to see it twice because it's such a stunning piece. Wow. I love uh, hearing that. Well, and we're going to get it. I mean, the first year of the tour is is 14, 15. So we're getting many of these shows very, very early in their runs, which is great. Uh, I think it's important for people to know you being the president, uh, that your personal touch is important and that you're a very seasoned theater goer. You go to New York quite often. In fact, you're getting ready to make another trip there. You check out these shows. You, uh, do you do you have Louisville in mind or you just look for a show overall that is like, uh, just a show-stopping, awe-inspiring kind of show? You know, I go up and, and sometimes try to remove myself because, I mean, I'm so lucky to work in this business. I love going to the theater. Nothing makes me happier than going to the theater.
theaters still after all these years. So when I go, I do know that there are some shows that will never play Louisville, but I think it's our obligation, certainly my obligation as a Tony voter, to see them all. But when you go into some, you absolutely know, and you're looking at what set pieces will move and what can fit in the theater, and you know, do we need to put more anchor points for something like sure. a chandelier or a helicopter? How is that going to so you're work? looking at all of that as absolutely. you watch. You're not watching as the average theater goer. Oh no, <laughs> I mean it's it's definitely you, there is a little escapism when you're in New York <laughs> and not at the at the Kentucky Center, but absolutely when we're we're looking for things that we can bring here that our subscribers and the general public will love. They will love and the logistics and all that included. And I think some of the advantages for folks who call now and check out their seats, you can actually pick your own seat, which is huge. Oh, absolutely. We, I mean, part of the reason we're getting the tours early now is because we have so many season ticket holders. We're at about 8,000, but I have 20,000 seats in a week available. So as a season ticket holder, you can come down, pick your seats. They're yours for the whole season and for as long as you'd like to keep them from year to year. And PNC Broadway series has always been very, uh, accommodating as well. If you have to change your seat, exchange it for another night, right. you guys always take care of your, your clients. Right. Well. That That is one of the benefits is not only can you, if you have your tickets on a Wednesday and, and there's a basketball game, you can exchange them to Thursday or to the weekend. And, and we facilitate that and do it really all the time. Um, you can also get extra tickets. If, if Lion King, you have two season tickets, but you want to bring the grandkids, you can get two tickets before they ever go on sale to the public. And it just makes life easy. Lots of advantages yeah. to being a season ticket holder. Absolutely. I love you know, uh, you mentioned something, you brushed right over it, but I think it's huge. The fact that you're a, actually a, a Tony bo voter, you can vote on the Tony Awards. Does that require you? Do you see all the shows? I think you probably do that because of your occupation anyway. But but that is quite an honor. I don't think I know anyone here in this state that is a Tony voter. Well, it yeah, it is quite an honor. I've been engaged with the Broadway League who puts on the Tony Awards for, you know, 27 years. And so last year I was made a lifetime Tony voter, which is kind of cool. Because, really cool. Well, and what's cool about that is, yes, I do have to go up to New York and see every single show that opens so that when you are Tony voting, you know, you're valid in every category from choreography to costumes to lights. And so um, it's great. But being lifetime, I do get to retire one day and still retain that status, which to me is great because... It, It'll be awesome to just go to the theater someday, just as a theater goer. Sure, sure. You know? be able to enjoy it. Yeah. Light, light, and easy. Yeah, exactly. Easy breezy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Leslie broke All right. Again, we encourage you to call now. PNC Broadway Series. There, uh, we unveiled all of the shows. It's a fantastic season. And Leslie, invite them to give them a call. There's a lot of advantages to being season ticket. Absolutely. Call us at five six one one thousand three, or come to our office downtown, right next to the Bristol. We'll take care of you. All right. Before I let you go, Leslie Broker, real quickly, I'm looking at all these great shows. I like the whole grandiose feel of going to the Kentucky Center and seeing a Broadway production. Which one would you recommend? Obviously, Lion King, Sets, uh, Pippin, I don't know. What, what do you think? Which one? Well, you know, right now, I'm listening to Pippin every morning on the way to and from work, and I've seen it twice, and I'm resisting this week, going back a third time. So Pippin is by far, you know, the one that I think is, is pretty cool and neat. I think you're pretty cool and neat. Ah, uh, likewise. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Leslie Broker, the president of uh, PNC Broadway of Louisville, we invite you to get your tickets right now. I'm you're going to love the season, and they will take care of you. We'll be right back on Way 3 Listens.